Good morning from Mission Control Houston. Welcome to Space Station Live. If you're joining us here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room, looking down at the Orbit 2 team manning consoles and monitoring all the systems on board the orbiting laboratory. Today's team right now being led by Flight Director Chris Elin there in the middle in that suit jacket and joining him over on the left of the Capcom position, Josh Matthew, serving as the communication link between all of our teams down here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. That crew right now uh, currently orbiting about 250 miles over the Earth's surface, uh, comprised of six crew members from nations all across the globe. They're being led by Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield there in the front row on the right. Behind him, his two Soyuz crew members, Roman Romanenko from the Russian Space Agency and NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn. Those three have been on board the International Space Station since late December, uh, formerly the crew of Expedition 34 and now Expedition 35. Over on the left, there are three remaining crew members, Pavel Vinogradov and Alexander Mazurkin from the Russian Space Agency, and all the way in the back there, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy. It's a pretty busy day on board the International Space Station for these astronauts, uh, starting off with Commander Chris Hadfield, who's uh, doing an acoustic survey throughout the International Space Station today, using sound level meters to measure the acoustic loads that these astronauts are uh, exposed to in their environment. He'll also be doing some in-flight maintenance, uh, replacing the payload Ethernet hub gateway, which is used to uh, control the networking through a number of payloads on board the International Space Station. He'll be removing uh, the old legacy one and installing a new and improved model. Uh, moving on, Pavel Vinogradov, flight engineer number one, uh, is over in the Russian segment collecting some condensate water samples from the Russian gas-liquid mixture filter. He's also on the hook for cleaning the gas liquid heat exchangers fan screening and some routine maintenance on a few of the systems over in that Russian segment. Moving on, Alexander Mazurkin, uh, our second Russian cosmonaut, uh, is monitoring a number of fluid loops throughout the Russian segment. That'll take up quite a few hours of his day today. He'll also be doing uh, some data collecting and monitoring work with the Russian Matryoshka experiment. Uh, which is an, a radiation monitoring payload on board the International Space Station. It uh, resembles a torso of a mannequin and has a number of uh, dosimeters placed throughout it uh, used to study any of uh, study and uh, gather data on the uh, radiation loads that these astronauts are exposed to, uh, again, while flying uh, over the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, our NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy is working with the capillary flow experiment today. He's actually getting uh, ready to set that up right now. You can see some video of it here as he works to prepare that payload. Uh, capillary flow is a, a suite of various fluid physics experiments looking to investigate how fluids move up surfaces in microgravity. Uh, this will lead to uh, some direct improvements in computer models used by designers down here on the planet Earth uh, as they design uh, fluid systems and uh, fuel systems for low gravity and future spacecraft. Uh, aside from that, he'll be setting up the SLAM device, which stands for the Space Linear Acceleration Mass Measurement Device. It's used to uh, calculate the mass of these astronauts using uh, very basic equations of uh, force, mass, and acceleration. By applying a known acceleration and force to these astronauts, they're then able to calculate their mass in that zero-gravity environment of space. Our third Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko, is doing some network and computer hardware auditing throughout. Uh, he'll also be working with that Matryoshka payload, uh, installing a few of the uh, bubble sized dosimeters, uh, initializing those and positioning it uh, for radiation exposure. And meanwhile, our sixth crew member, Tom Marshburn, uh, is, has replaced a number of belts on two of the centrifuges in the European Modular Cultivation System. You can see him uh, continuing some of that work right here over in the Columbus module. Aside from that, he'll also be doing some uh, data gathering on some of the nanoracks payloads, a number of smaller payloads uh, taking up a little bit of space on board the station. Uh, with all this going on, all six of our crew members having a hand in some of the departure and uh, prep work for the uh, eventual leave taking of three of our astronauts, uh, crew Commander Chris Hadfield and then Flight Engineers Tom Marshburn and Roman Romanenko, scheduled to leave the International Space Station just under two weeks from now. Uh, so many of them will be uh, packing items inside of that Soyuz 33 or TMA 07M spacecraft you can see there. Currently docked to the Earth-facing side of the station at the Rosviet module. 
They'll be departing uh, coming up on Monday, May 13th, Central Time, uh, setting up for an eventual landing in Kazakhstan, currently targeted at 9.31 p.m. Central, 10.31 p.m. Eastern. And as with uh, all dynamic events, we'll be bringing you live coverage of that here on NASA TV.